Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming my very first favorites video. Now the products that I have in this video, some of them are holy grail, some of them are new for the month of June. So since it's the first one, I'm just gonna do a mix and then we'll build from there. If you're interested in seeing the products that I love, stay tuned and keep on watching. I have some products set up in front of me and it's different stuff. I have makeup products and one, two non-makeup items, but everything else is makeup, of course. So I'll start with those two products and then I'll get to the makeup. The very first product, this is one of my, this is probably going to be holy grail for me. Like I've barely made a dent in it and I already have a backup. This is the My Burberry Blush Perfume. Guys, when I tell you this smells so good, like I can't even, it's a clean smell. It's a floral smell. So I, from comparing the different scents that I like, I realized based on taking quizzes on Sephora that I like warm florals and sometimes spicy. So some of my other favorite perfumes that I have are Ellis Brooklyn Myth. I also have Jo Malone um, Brushed Suede and Peony and a Michael Kors Blush. Um, I'm trying to think. I have Jimmy Choo Blossom. I have Versace Bright Crystal. They're actually like right there. So I'm looking at them. And then I have some in my bedroom too. So those are some of my all time favorites. But this one right here, I don't know what it did to me but I have a feeling I'm going to repurchase this over and over again. The next non-makeup product that I have is this Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Removing Balm. Now, I actually just started using this last month. I used to use, and I have backups of it, so I'm still going to use it, the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I love products like this to take my makeup off first. I used to use makeup wipes and sometimes if I'm taking my makeup off at the sink, I'll use a makeup wipe. If I'm in the shower, then I'll use a cleansing balm just because I feel like these can get a little messy. But these do such a great job at breaking up the makeup and basically like getting the majority of it off. It is not the only cleaning step. I use probably three different cleansers. I do this first, then I use another cleanser, which is normally a kind of gentle cleanser, not one for any kind of treatment. So like the Philosophy 3-in-1 cleanser is a cleanser that I'll use as a second wash. And then my third wash will be any kind of treatment. Nine times out of 10, I'm treating for acne. So I will use, right now I'm using the Murad, um, oh God, I can't think of the name of it, but I'll put a picture of it right here. It's the Murad, um, it's a slightly exfoliating one, but I really like it. And it's been working well for me. Guys, this is probably the clearest my skin has been in a really long time. It is dry as I don't know what, I don't know why, but if that's the trade-off, at night I've just been putting a heavy moisturizer and putting cocoa butter. And then in the morning, I don't use a cleanser, I just rinse my face with the micellar water and I put more cocoa butter to help with the peeling, but I don't have any zits. Like I have these two little stupid things up here, but like all the really bad stuff that I used to have, like it's gone and I don't know what's happening. I haven't started the Accutane. Let's just keep it because this actually feels good. For the beauty products, I have quite a few, so I'll try to go through these quick. But we all know Barbara can talk when it comes to makeup, so y'all please bear with me. As far as concealers, you've seen these in my videos before. They're both actually by e.l.f. You can find it at the drugstore, but the first one is their Camo Concealer. This one is in the shade Deep Chestnut. And then, of course, the color corrector that you've seen in a couple of my videos now. These two, I can use these by themselves and my base is done. Color correct, cover with this. I can also, which you saw me do in my Zoom makeup video, do this by itself on my face and it covers everything. So I can just cover 
the bad hyperpigmentation and I don't need anything else with it. So I love this and I love it so much that I got different shades of it. So I have deep cinnamon for when I'm a little darker and then I got tan latte. I planned on trying to use this for an under eye concealer, but it's a little too light and it's not the right undertone. So I just have it. And if I need to fix the color of a foundation that's too dark, I'll mix a little bit of this with it so that it doesn't go to waste. But that's it for my concealers. For foundation, this, I don't even know how it happened, but if, especially right now with my color being a little lighter than I would like it to be, if I need a foundation that I know is gonna match, I know is gonna wear long, and I feel comfortable traveling with because if it breaks, it's like six, seven bucks. This Hard Candy Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation says 16 hour wear. I'm in the color 1517 Mocha. You guys have seen this as well. So you know I'm not joking when I say it's a favorite. I use this foundation all the time. It stays on. When I'm going to the gym and I know I'm taking pictures or I'm taking videos, yes, I wear makeup to the gym. Don't judge me. Um, I put this on and I don't have to use a lot of it and I know it's gonna cover. I'm not trying to cover everything, but again, just for the really bad hyperpigmentation. Now, another foundation that I love, and this is probably my most favorite, if I don't want something too matte, but I want something that's gonna cover and wear all day, this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. I'm in the shade right now, 511, which is hazelnut, I believe. I thought these used to say it on here. Well, it doesn't, but this one's 511. I also have 515 for when I'm darker. So if you know, I bought the same foundation twice, just in different shades, because I want to be able to wear it all year round. For a high-end foundation that I have absolutely been loving, this is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. This one does have SPF in it. It's SPF 30. It's oil-free. All of these are oil-free. Um, I don't normally put oils on my face. I don't know. Like I said, right now I'm dry, so I have been. But this one, it basically says that it helps to mimic your skin and whatever your skin needs for your makeup to look good, it balances to that. I don't know what kind of sorcery that is, but I love it. It doesn't get dry on me. It doesn't break apart. It lasts all day. The color works well for me. I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. This is 430 Cedar. The color works well. It covers well. And again, for me, it's always about lasting power. I don't like having to wear any kind of makeup that I have to touch up. So anything that I'm naming in this video, you know it's gonna stay put. For powders, I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. I like this powder a lot because it's matte and it's long wearing. Again, everything has to be long wearing. I have two shades in this one. I have number 700 Classic Tan for when I'm lighter and then 800 cocoa for when I'm darker, but I also use darker the darker one to help bronze or if I need to help, if a foundation's a little too light or the color's off, this powder's a little red, so I just use it to help balance things out. Now, one of my favorite powders to use if everything matches and I don't need to adjust color and I just wanna set everything is this Clinique. It is their Perfectly Real Compact Makeup. This is in the color 146 DG, which I believe is dark golden. But this is like the perfect color for me to use all over my face. Sorry, I'm blinding y'all. I love this powder. It doesn't make me feel overly dry. A lot of times if you put too much powder and you have wrinkles, like y'all see, I'm always doing this, always mugged up. So these lines, if I don't set them, my foundation will start creasing there, but this powder helps to set everything in place and it helps, all of these help absorb oil. So I don't have any issues with my makeup breaking apart. Another powder that I love is the Nikia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Skin Finishing Powder. I showed you guys this in my other video, but 
first of all, I love the way this smells. It smells like cake. And I try not to inhale it, of course, but I like putting stuff on my face that smells good. I don't want it to stink. This powder is white. I've showed it to you before, but when you go to blend it in on your skin, you see absolutely nothing. It just melts away. It's so soft. And Nikia is from Australia. She has very oily skin, acne prone. So I follow her and all of her suggestions. And I was like, if she came out with a powder, then I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. I need to try it. I don't have any issues with my makeup. I pack it right here on the sides of my nose so that my makeup doesn't crease or break apart right there. I didn't use it today, but I've used it in my other videos but it just makes me look flawless and I love it. Along the lines of powder still, I've showed this product before as well and I didn't realize how much I use this until I started doing my YouTube videos and it's like it comes up in every single one of them. This is the Tarte Contour Tardis Times Makeup Shayla palette and this is the Face Contour palette. This thing is beat up. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah this has a nice little dent in it right here i use this to contour if i want to do a dark contour i don't use the blush that much i don't it's it it shows up but it's just not my favorite tone for blush and then i use the highlighter sometimes but again not really my favorite tone so i mainly just use it for the two face powders and that middle part of powder for an accent but love this i use this almost every day for bronzing, I love, it was a tie between this and a L'Oreal bronzer, but I think that was limited edition. So I didn't wanna bring that up, but this is the Morphe Glamour Bronze Face and Body Bronzer. This is in the shade Phenom. And here is the color. It helps bring warmth into my face. It looks a little dark but I love using it if I just want you can't really see that it looks like it just kind of blends in but when I pack it onto my face it looks beautiful it gives me a nice golden what color did I say y'all red bronze we know the drill Barbara and her bronze phase that's always gonna be but it gives me a nice warmth to my face and I can also use it to contour a little bit, but not as much as if I'm trying to actually like chisel my cheekbones and have everything snatched because it's a little too red. But just to bring some dimension into my face and warm up my face, this one's perfect. For highlighter, I was having trouble actually figuring out which highlighter was like my favorite favorite. And then I was like, Barbara, what's in your travel bag? Because if you travel with it, then you know it's good because it's like, hey, this is all you have. You're relying on it. This Flower Beauty Highlighting Palette, I actually use this a lot more than I thought I would. And when I've done makeup on people, I've also used this because it has three different colors in it. So you have a darker kind of goldish highlight then a pinkish highlight then a whiter icy highlight and i'll swatch them real quick these are the different tones they all have a beautiful shine to them yeah you can see the difference right there they all have a beautiful shine to them and you can build them up to make them look really shiny or you can just put a light layer to give yourself a nice little lit from within glow but i travel with this so you know it's got to be good for blush, as we all know, since I have said it 50 million times, blush has become one of my favorite things. I won't leave the house without it. Even if I don't put makeup on, I still put a little blush on just because I like, it makes me look more alive and just brings some color to my face. One of my favorite blushes of all time is this Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur brush and it's in the shade Mauve Sunrise. I like this blush because it is kind of, it feels almost like a mousse, but when you put it on, it feels like a cream, but it dries down to a powder. So it's great for oily skin, but this color, it doesn't, 
It's not showing well in here. Ooh, this frustrates me because I want you guys to see and love it. It's like a deep mauve. So I can put a little bit on or I can put a light layer, just like I said, for a nice wash of color for a flush. But it lasts long. It doesn't fade throughout the day. And I love the texture of it too. It goes on really smooth and it's not powdery. The next thing I have, oh, I have another highlighter. I missed this one. This came in a set with the Fenty Gloss Bomb. This is Fenty's Kilowatt Highlighter in Hustler Baby. I like this one because it's like a rose gold. So there you go. It kind of has a bit of a peach color to it. I wear this one when I want just a very subtle highlight. It's smooth, it sinks into the skin. Let me show you how it look, com looks compared to the other. So as you can see here, it can still be built up blinding, but it's a little more gold than the others that I showed you. So it's a little bit darker, but trust me, you can still build it up and have yourself shining bright like a diamond if that's the route you want to go. It's a beautiful highlighter. Eyeshadow palettes. I'm a little out of order. I was going to try to do this in the order that I do my face, but this is fine. We're almost actually done. Okay. I saw this palette. I watched the show Power. I watched it like end of last year. I just watched it, but my favorite color is purple. And I saw this palette. Ooh, guys, this color up here is incredible. I've done a look with this palette and I will insert a picture of it, but the looks, the colors are just so vibrant. They all blend so well together. I think this is still available on their website. I will let you know, but if you can get your hands on this and you love purple like I do, everybody knows Colored Rain's eyeshadow palettes are amazing. The quality is great. And then it's purple, this white color. Let me show you. It is not actually white. It is a iridescent. Let me make sure I don't have anything on my fingers. This actually looks purple. I don't know if you can really see it, but when you put it on your eyes, I'll insert swatches. When you put it on your eyes, it looks absolutely incredible because it's purple. It's a white silver duochrome and my lights keep playing me. I'm gonna get it together. Y'all knew this was coming. If you didn't go back and watch my other videos, Pat McGrath, Divine Rose, two, not one. I didn't get one. First of all, the packaging, limited edition, so I'm sorry you can't get this, but it's the same formula in the black package, so don't let that be the reason not to get it. Her website has a lot more sales than I realize, so if you're interested in trying and you can hold out, wait for a sale. The prices on these are ridiculous, we all know that, so save some money where you can. But I will show this again. Look at these colors. Absolutely beautiful. Purples, pinks, that trichrome, depending on which way you look at it. See how that looks kind of greenish? And then if I turn it straight, it looks pink, icy. It's beautiful. So of course, that's in my favorites. Lash glue, favorite lash glue. Eyelore London 18 hour lash glue. It's clear and it's latex free. So if you wanna do lashes without liner, you don't have to worry about the black glue shining through. I have sensitive eyes, I wear contacts, so I love that this is latex free. I never have any issues with it. And if I apply them right, my lashes stay. Eyeshadow base, we all know, we keep seeing it. If I'm not using concealer, because I'm lazy sometimes and that's just easy, then I'm using this P. Louise makeup base. Makeup base. And I've never told y'all, this is rumor number two. She has different shades and there's even some colors now, but this one's a little light, so I put it on lightly, but this one is called Rumor Zero Two. Four more products. Number one, I've mentioned this, 
in a couple videos, but this is the Grande Lash MD. I have finally been using this consistently. I've had it for probably two years and just never used it, but I've been using this consistently and I've seen a lot of growth on my lashes. My bottom lashes especially, but when I put mascara on my top lashes, I definitely feel like I can see that they're a lot longer than what they used to be. So only concern with this is I've heard other YouTubers say that they think the formula has been changed. So I'm a little worried about that for when I run out, but I am going to buy it again when I run out. I love this stuff and my lashes have grown. Follow that up with my favorite mascara. Now, I kind of thought this was just hyped up and that people were just promoting this maybe because it got sent to them and sponsored or whatever. But I like tubing mascaras because my lashes are not long. So this is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. This will definitely help to make your lashes look longer. It is black, so when it goes on, you don't have to worry about not being able to see it. It doesn't flake because of the fiber technology that makes it form the tubes on your lashes. But it's when you put it on, it basically, as you're putting it on, it just builds on top of each layer and helps to lengthen them. Amazing product. If you can get your hands on it, do it. You will thank me for this one. Last two products. We all know my favorite primer, the Cover FX Gripping Primer. I like this primer when I want a primer that is not going to mattify too much because 90% of the products that I use are mattifying. So if I just want something that's going to help my makeup stay on my face, but not suck the life out of it, I will use this primer. This is pretty much my everyday primer. It's a toss up between this and the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I love that one too, but this is the one I've been reaching for and I have backups of it. So again, you know, if I have a backup, I must be serious. I love this primer. And then last but not least, I cannot stand my lips to be dry. As I've explained before, when I get anxious, I start picking at anything I can pick at, which includes my face, my lips. It doesn't matter. If I have something that doesn't feel right, I'll just like rub my hands on my body to find something to pick at. But this Biosance Rose Vegan Lip Balm, I use this in the morning. I use this before I do my makeup. I use this at night. It has an amazing slip to it, so it's not sticky, but it's thick enough that it coats your lips and hydrates them and stays on. So I like wearing it before bed. So when I get up in the morning, my lips are nice and soft. I still put on more after I brush my teeth, but I like, this is clear. It doesn't really have a smell. To me, this kind of, I was about to show y'all. It kind of smells like Vaseline to me, but yeah, roses and Vaseline. I'm not a huge rose fan. I don't care if something smells like roses. That's not going to make me buy it. But this says nourishes and visibly plumps your lips. And I can definitely say the claims are true. This is a great product. Well, guys, that's it for my favorites. I hope this video wasn't too long. Please let me know down below if you've tried any of these products, if you like them, or if you saw something in it that you're thinking about picking up based on my recommendation. I definitely enjoyed sharing these products with you guys and I will do a monthly favorites to keep you updated on the things that I'm loving. Please subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. I upload videos twice a week. Thanks for sticking with me to the end guys and I'll see you next time. Bye. And that you even mm -mm, stop saying that. One more, one more time, one more time. I think they should do pride. Like the video, mother. Uh. Okay, that's enough. Cause you just keep saying stupid shit.